Hello everybody, welcome. I'm George Riles at Archery Learning Center. We're gonna do a thing a week. It's been a lot of weeks since we've done a thing a week, but I have Alexander LeVan here. He's a Hornet from Iowa. Yep. Where in Iowa? South Central Iowa. South Central Iowa. So Alexander's from South Central Iowa. He's down for his uh, quarterly lesson and I've changed his draw length a, a little bit. So I thought this would be a great time to use a thing a week to point out how to see if you've sort of grown into your draw length. This is for juniors. And uh, you could also see if you just need more draw length if you're a fully grown adult. But I'm gonna show a few cues that aren't really obvious so that you can see how your draw length is doing and what you need to do to fix that. So Alexander, I'm gonna have Alexander draw his bow back and we're gonna demonstrate what it looks like before the draw length change and what it looks like after the draw length change so you can see those minor differences. Now, it always helps to watch the shooter or watch yourself in motion when you raise the bow up and draw the bow back and anchor so you can see if you're having to make body adjustments or last minute edits at full draw in order to fit. So it would kind of look like this. If it was correct, you would raise draw and then your hand would come right to your face and you wouldn't have to change anything. But often as juniors are growing into their bow or if someone has just been shooting a draw length that's too long for a lot of years, I'll see them raise, draw, and then they'll make kind of an adjustment like that. And you can watch their shoulders raise up or collapse in or the head kind of come forward in order to accommodate the string so they can see through the peep. So I'll show you from kind of a coach's standpoint so that you can look at these things and uh, getting the draw length correct will get better bone alignment and you'll be able to use less muscle to hold the bow still at full draw and uh, overall you'll get a lot more accuracy. So are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so Alexander's gonna demo for us and uh, we'll show you this stuff from a, a few angles. Okay, so Alexander is going to uh, draw his bow and he's going to kind of exaggerate and demonstrate what it looks like when somebody makes a body edit at full draw. So kind of keep your eye in these areas right here. So Alexander, go ahead and pull your bow back and we can take a look. So just sort of watch right here. Now right here, you see that slight compression right here. You see how this part of his shoulder is much higher than this part here. And this is very compressed and sitting up here extremely tight. So this tells me that he's a little compressed and needs a little more draw length. So you can go ahead and let that down. So now Alexander's gonna draw the bow back to full draw without any of those body edits so that you can see what it looks like when it's correct. Okay, Alexander, go ahead. So I'll show you from the front side here so that you can see what the string looks like and we're gonna watch him draw and come into anchor with the correct draw length and you'll notice that there'll be very little if any head movement there won't be any body adjustments or any of that and we get a very nice fit with the string uh, to the nose and face with very little string contact around the arrow and the d-loop area so go ahead and demo that for us And you see, he'll come into anchor, gets a nice touch with a little nose and very little contact right here in this area. So you don't wanna get any contact or hard skin to string contact here cause that'll deflect your shots to the left for a right-handed shooter or to the right for a left-handed shooter. So just to sum this up, when you're double checking draw length or you have people who have grown into their bows or the draw length has become short over the summer during a growth spurt or something like that, is pay attention to their shoulder line and any 
body adjustment that they may make to get into the bow as they draw back. And they can be pretty sneaky with that, so you have to watch very closely. So you'll ideal, you want them to be able to raise, draw, and then open into the bow and anchor like so. An incorrect or an indicator of short draw length if they raise and draw and then go to get into the bow this way, making a Z kind of in their upper body there. So keep a close eye on that and watch videos of yourself if you're growing or if you think that you may have a draw like this a little too short and pay attention to your shoulder alignment, to the target, and whether if that changes in order for you to get to the string.